The only thing you can send to your future is your prayer. It can go and wait for you. Your prayer can become your protocol. It waits for you at the gates of your tomorrow. It checks that tomorrow is ready for you. And it, if, if it finds anything your tomorrow that can sabotage the name of God in your life, it can with a covenant. I'm about to step back and leave you with that covenant. This is faith. You want to subdue kingdoms? It is not just by talking carelessly. Most believers keep saying, oh, I will get this. Uh -uh. Your confession is only profitable if the law is that it starts from your heart first before your mouth. You have to settle this. For with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. I'm shaking away unbelief. Because some of you are here seated with all kinds of sicknesses. Some of you are here, ministry is small. And yet, you see, when God talks to you, he talks like he's talking to himself. You know that it is God speaking to you because you do not have the power to do what he's saying. The moment God talks to you and it is possible, it's not God you had. That's a demon talking to you. God talks to men like he's talking to himself. Because it is only his power that can make happen what he says. Listen up. This is just an exhortation so that we can minister. Faith, the integrity of God and his ability. Now listen, you have to be convinced. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it gives us a law. If we want to see a performance in our lives and you must subscribe to this law. It says, for without faith, that means outside of a realm of faith, it is impossible to please him. Why? For everyone who comes to God, before you arrive there, convince yourself first that he exists. He is means he exists. And then number two, there is a name God is called that few people know. He's called a rewarder. A rewarder is not what he does, it's who he is. God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Are we blessed? will fail me to talk of all the patriarchs when God called Abraham as a single man he told him carry your wife go to a land that I will show you and he began to move with a few people there came out of awe of the Chaldeans by the end of the story he is a father of nations God spoke and he believed took him a long time to believe but finally he did and the Bible says it was credited unto him for righteousness. And Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 says, And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. But if said, if you are the children of Abraham, you will do the works of Abraham. That means you will not only claim Abraham's blessings, you will have Abraham's convictions. If you do not have Abraham's convictions, you will not get Abraham's blessings. Can I tell you this? There are many dimensions to faith. But one of the dimensions that must always be expressed in your life if you are, you are a man of faith is land. There is a relationship between faith and land. Somewhere in the equation of your faith, you will always be given grace and authority for territory. Are we blessed? Hear me. Many of us are too scientific to be used by God. You calculate everything. How shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man, Mary said. How will one plus one become ten? Anything plus God in it is the answer he gives. Anything. One plus one is two, you are right. But one plus one plus God equals to the answer he chooses. Any answer, once you put God in an equation, the calculation changes completely. I'm saying this so that you can believe God. Listen, faith is not just what saying, it's not saying what God has said alone. It is also doing what he has said. 
Bible faith always leaves you with a responsibility, a participatory responsibility. If you do not find your participatory responsibility, as far as actualizing any promise is concerned, it will never come to pass. There is always something to do. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2. Write it for reference. That it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord. To do and observe all that I command you this day. Then it says you will be exalted above all the nations of the earth. And that these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. There is always something to do. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. Moses had, I mean uh, God admonishing Moses now after Joshua, after Moses died. He says, this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, that thou mayest observe to do, observe to do, observe to do, observe to do all, not some, observe to do all that is written therein. Then, and only then, shall thou make thy ways prosperous, and that you will have good success. Hallelujah. The classic character of faith, is you see in the bible i don't know if i said this yesterday but every time god wants to preserve his mysteries he will enter a covenant with men that capture that dimension of that kingdom mystery and they will become his principal reference every time he wants you to walk in that dimension he will refer you to those people so when god wants you to understand faith and the blessing the personality that represents the subject of faith is Abraham if God wants you to end to understand encounters with God how people are changed through encounters the personality that captures that mystery is Jacob if God wants you to understand the prevailing power of prayer and its ability to shift systems and territories the personality that captures that dimension is Elijah are we together now if God wants you to understand favor, how the favor of God works, the personality that he refers you to is Esther. If God wants you to understand deliverance, how that he's able to deliver to the Ottomans, the nation of Israel becomes the case study. So when the Bible lets us know about the subject of faith, according to Isaiah 51 from verse 1 and 2, it refers us to the patriarch Abraham, and Sarah understudy their lives to understand to find out the dynamics of faith. He says, Isaiah chapter 51. Can we have that goodness? It says, How good to me, ye that follow after righteousness and seek the Lord, look out from the rock from whence you were hewn. Verse 2. It says, Look unto Abraham, your father, understudy him. And to Sarah that body, it says, For I called him alone and blessed him and what? Increased him. So you want enlargement through faith? There is a patriarch. The Bible mandates that we follow them who through faith and patience have obtained. Can I tell you what is a dream for you now is someone's reality? And the Bible says follow them. There is something. Don't follow anybody if you do not find faith in the equation of the achievement. If you do not find faith, if they did not have to believe God somewhere, run away, he says. Follow only those who you see their promise obtained through faith and patience. Are we learning something tonight? You must believe in God. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things spoken. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. Do you know the Bible says when you read John chapter 20, the last verse I believe, it says many other miracles Jesus did in the presence of his disciples that were not recorded in this book. It says, but this was written that you might believe and that in believing you will find life eternal. He wants us to believe. Listen to me. This Bible you see from Genesis to Revelation is a manifesto of God's integrity. He dares you. He says, look at it. Choose any verse and any scripture and see how faithful I have been. So that you can believe me, 
You are not the first to be in a situation down. Ask Esther. I can pick women from a village to the palace. Ask Israel. I can pick them from Egypt. You are not the first to desire lifting. You are not the first to want to build a house. You are not even the first to be cursed. Ask Jabez. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. He said the mother bore him in sorrow. But Jabez changed the narrative of his destiny. He says, oh that thou wouldest bless me. And enlarge my tent. And that your hand will be upon me. And God answered him. You are not the first to be in a situation of life and death. Our nation and our territory is not the first to go through economic turmoil. A time came when the whole earth was in trouble. In Genesis 42 and verse 1 and 2, even Jacob the prophet was hungry. And the Bible says he called his sons. He says, why ye look at one another paraphrasing? He said, I have heard that there is corn. When Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he gathered his sons. He said, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. He says, go and buy that we may eat and not leave. It was hunger that took Israel to Egypt. Hunger always takes God's people to Egypt. There is only one reason why Israel goes to Egypt. Hunger. Beware of hunger. That's why you must understand the blessing system of the kingdom. Because hunger can lead you from Israel to Egypt. Where you now become slaves. Every time Satan wants you to come to Egypt, he does not have to say come. He just programs an economic climate of hunger. And when there is hunger, even Jacob the prophet goes to Egypt. Are we learning something tonight? Faith. I believe God. And the Bible says the righteousness that is of faith speaks on this wise. So faith is not silent. If it is true faith, there is an equation. It first starts with conviction, not confession. Confession comes from the word homologio. That means repeat as you have heard. It is the confession without conviction is just a mock of oneself. I will rise, I will rise, I will rise. Uh -uh. Your heart must be settled first. It is from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The mouth does not speak for the heart to know. No. Meditation is how the heart receives. When the heart now receives from the strength of meditation, the mouth will speak. Are we together? Listen to me. I want you to be careful what you hear. Because what you hear consistently becomes what you believe. And what you believe and act upon is what becomes your reality understand this you must culture yourself from the negative news our world is full of all kinds of things you switch on the television and in one hour you are discouraged can i do ministry in yola ah. but i believe i believe jesus i believe i believe in miracles I believe in Jesus. I believe in signs and wonders. I believe in increase. I believe in multiplication. I believe. I believe that until my assignment is done, no mortal man born of a woman can take my life. No, 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 no. It's not a general thing. You choose what you believe. This is my statement of faith. I believe that the favor of God can turn the tides over a man. I believe you can create your own spiritual climate like Goshen was in Egypt. That even though there be darkness, you can dwell in a realm of unapproachable light. This is what I believe. I have searched from scripture and I have found out that God can be trusted. He is not a man. Servants of the living God, let us get back to the authority of scripture. Don't just believe because a man you love said it. You must go to the word of God. The woman, the prostitute at the well, when she met Jesus Christ, after having a discussion with him and perceiving he was a prophet, she began to bring the issues of worship. And when Jesus gave her a new orientation, the Bible says she ran and called people, come see a man that told me what I have done. 
they did not come because they believed in Jesus they came because they were surprised at her transformation but when they came they met Jesus themselves and after that encounter here was their testimony we now believe not because you said it your testimony was only an usher that led us to now have an encounter for ourselves believers it is good to believe the God of your pastor only if he, he will eventually become your God because it is your God that will produce your miracle Daniel 11 and verse 32 but the people that do know their God not another man's God another man's God you can tap through the covenant of covering and prophecy and submission we are coming there but principally your results will be obtained in this kingdom listen very carefully your results will be obtained in this kingdom based on the revelation of the God you know I know whom I have believed I don't just believe him I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded he says that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day the Bible says now there remained a rest for the people of God he says that today if you hear his voice harden not your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness they could not enter the rest of God even though they had the word like we did but the word did not profit them not mixed with faith in them that heard what is the faith the actions of obedience based on the truthfulness of what God said the first miracle recorded according to the synoptic account of John was the wedding in Cana and it was a demonstration of the might of God he says this beginning of miracles did Jesus are we together now and the Bible says that he revealed his glory the disciples now believed in him what was the miracle a feast was happening and the wine finished when the wine finished there was going to be an embarrassment on the couple and then a few people found Jesus and Mary said whatsoever he says to do do it it may not make sense but do it and he said fix fill six vessels with water fetch that water and start moving to the ruler you know in those days rulers were cruel people any embarrassment will cost you your life immediately there was no counseling there was no advice you would die immediately why would you fetch water and be on your way to go and give a ruler prove that you trust me that much that god is not a man prove that you believe me that much so god tells you it's time to have a church and with one thousand naira in your account you ask your friend and you foil his car and you say let's drive down adamawa god spoke that it's time for us to establish that building and while you are doing that your senses is saying you must be crazy and you say no 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 it's not my fault i'm not the one who found it i'm only a steward the bible says moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful my assignment is to use my obedience and bring that situation face to face with the god of the bible listen the exploits of faith in this kingdom is based on the simple obedience within a few minutes we are going to be celebrating the hand of God and the move of God and every one miracle every one sign and wonder restoration your requests that have been written here many of you will be surprised to see the way doors open it will be as though you were given a term in this conference you see just like that and then the glory goes to the Lord because I'm telling you, if you can believe God, there is no limit to what he can do. If you believe him and walk in keeping with the conditions allocated for actualizing that miracle, being convinced and convicted will not bring the miracle. It will only start the process. You must walk in keeping with the conditions, the conditions, the conditions. Are we blessed? In one minute, I'd like you to lay hands on your head and say, Father, increase my faith. Go ahead and pray. Increase my faith. Faith's my faith. Faith's my faith.